So we just got on the tram to go from the, what would you call this, Australian side? Australasia. The Australasia side of the zoo. And we're headed over to the Africa side of the zoo. And there's like five tram cars and we're the only two people on it. <laughs> so it's a private ride just for us. <laughs> Yeah, there's a real train. Yeah. It's so fun. Do you hear all the frogs already, B? Yeah. I love that sound. The frogs or the train? The frogs. <laughs> I can hear less. <laughs> You're so cool! Those pretty sounds. Oh, Brooke, look at them! They're like sideways society finches. Yep. We're going on the little sky tram. I've never been on it before. I can't stop swinging my legs and I have like this irrational fear that my, my tennis shoes are about to pop off and they're gonna land down on what appears to be a lot of Canadian geese with babies. Oh my gosh, there's baby goslings in there. Do you see them? Or are those ducks? They're so cute. Uh, oh my gosh, they're so those cute. Are ducks. Those are ducks. Oh, they're <laughs> tiny <laughs> dobbling ducks. I thought they were goslings. Oh, here we go guys. Okay, so we're on the sky tram. We're up pretty high. I'm afraid of heights, but this is so exciting because I'm with my sister. This is the first time I've ever been on it. Where's my long horses, B? They're, they're on the other side, silly. Oh, they're on the other side? Yeah. Oh, there's everybody's. Oh, look at everybody. Wow. This is fun. Isn't beautiful? Wow. I'm so envious you get to come to this all the time. Pretty cool. It is so awesome. Look at everybody over there. I see all the guineas. I see all the guinea fowl running around. Oh my goodness, watching guinea fowl run next to Canadian geese. That's pretty awesome. Wow, look at those crusted greens down there. And the guinea fowl. Oh my gosh, there's so many guinea fowl. And then there's a Canadian goose. And then more guinea fowl. Look at all of them. Oh, they make the cutest little noises. They're like a bunch of clucking chickens, aren't they? It's super cute. I like to listen to them. Oh my gosh. We're about halfway there and we're gonna be seeing the long neck horses, aka the giraffes pretty soon. <gasps> There's the giraffe, I'm so excited. And my sister and I, I think have both hit that point where we're like deep breaths, deep breaths. We can do this, deep breaths. We've got this. But I'm going to be very excited about these turtles for the sake of you guys and the fact that I'm going to be almost eye level with the giraffe in the sky. Uh, and then I can be happy that I did this for you guys and return to my normal terrified of height self. But right now, forced excitement. <gasps> Deep breaths. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so awesome. <laughs> the giraffe is leaning over the fence to eat in the ostrich exhibit. Oh, that's amazing. They're so beautiful. I have no idea why I love them so much, but I do. They also have like, half their exhibit is geese, as usual. Oh, look at that. Isn't that adorable, me? Mm-hmm, look at its long tongue. I love that. And they're gonna start to feed the giraffe thing pretty soon? Yes, I am so excited. That is so exciting. I cannot wait. Oh, look at him. He's so beautiful. I love giraffes. I have no idea. I think April's still pregnant. I'm oh beginning to think it's April Fools. Oh. That's why they named her April. I think Just permanent so. April Fools. Giraffes are so beautiful. Oh my gosh. We get to pause for a second. I get to see him. Look at him. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like his spots. <laughs> <laughs> he like his spots are the best spot. spots in the house. I mean, oh, that's pretty wow. objective, but I mean... 
We're on the tram over the giraffes with the zebras and the Canadian geese and a lot of singing like native songbirds too. This is so much fun you guys. I, I love seeing giraffes. I have no idea why they make me so happy. But I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to accept that it's, it's just awesome. It's so fun to have an animal that can make you feel that excited and enthusiastic and just want to go to any lengths to see them and enjoy them. I, I survived. I was so weak need. I collapsed into a bench because I am so scared of heights. My sister's laughing at me. I told her we're walking back, but that was a really fun thing to do. All right, and finally I am able to bring you guys my first giraffe sighting of the year. This video is actually a little bit older as most of you guys know by now because I went to visit Kansas City Zoo when I went to my brother's wedding back at the beginning of April. It's been oh so busy over the past few weeks so I haven't been able to show off this video to you guys until just now but I am so excited. This was my very first time ever riding a sky tram and I was terrified out of my mind and the only thing that kept my fear of heights from overwhelming me was these majestic, beautiful creatures. If someone had to ask me why I love giraffes so much, I'm not sure I could really give you an answer. I actually have the very vlog in which I fell in love with giraffes for the first time here on our main channel. You guys were there with me at the St. Louis Zoo when I got to see giraffes up close and personal for the first time and suddenly realized I was in love. And that love continues on, even though I don't get to see giraffes very often, considering I live in Michigan. But it was wonderful to be able to see these two boys with my sister at the Kansas City Zoo. Riding on the Sky Tram over uh, above them was definitely a unique experience. And I have to admit, it was a lot more fun to be down on the ground and get to see them through my camera lens instead. They were just so beautiful and I had such a wonderful day with my sister. I hope you guys will really enjoy and I hope you guys will keep your eyes out for future giraffe sightings. Hint, another vlog coming up is where I actually fed a giraffe at the beginning of May. Uh, hopefully pretty soon. So we'll have to see how many giraffes Siri is able to see before the end of the year. I hope you guys will keep count with me. Now, why don't we dive into some interesting giraffe facts. A few days ago, I actually received some snail mail into our PO box that asked me an all important question. Siri, why are giraffe tongues black? And the answer is actually really fascinating. If you guys have ever looked up close at a giraffe tongue, and like I said, keep an eye out for the vlog in which I get licked by that very tongue, hopefully coming up soon, then you guys will know that their tongues are not pink like most creatures, but giraffe tongues are actually a kind of purplish, grayish, bluish color, and only at the front of their tongue. If you actually look back into a giraffe's throat, the back of their tongue is pink. So their tongues are actually two colors and that just deepens the mystery until you realize that it's only the exposed part of the giraffe tongue that is the darker pigment. The reason that the giraffe tongue is dark is actually to protect it from the sun. That is a giraffe's way of protecting themselves from getting their tongue sunburned. I'll bet you've never really had to think about getting your tongue sunburned before, but we don't use our tongues to eat nearly as much as giraffes do. Because they are herbivores, they are feeding all day long, pulling down those beautiful acacia branches full of thorns, and they will swallow the branch, thorns, leaves, and all, and get tons and tons of it every day in order to meet the dietary requirements for their rather large size. And because they are constantly grazing all day long, they are flicking their tongue out and exposing it to the sun far more than we would stick our tongues out all day. And because they're doing that, they need to make sure their tongue is protected from the sun. And that is the reason that the front of a giraffe's tongue is actually a darker pigment. It will c prevent it from being sunburned, which again, is not something I've ever had to worry about personally. Don't know about you guys. And then another really interesting fact about how often giraffes feed, well, if you consider the fact that a giraffe only needs about 5 to 30 minutes of sleep in a 24-hour period, they're pretty busy out there eating tons and tons and tons of leaves all day long. So that adds up a lot more time where they're busy grazing and a lot more time where they're going to be using their tongue and even more reasons for them to make sure that it is nice and protected. There they are! My favorite animal in the whole zoo, the giraffes, and it is so 
windy here. You guys probably can't hear a word I'm saying, but it has been so much fun just to stand and to watch them for a little while. These two are just absolutely gorgeous. They've been sneaking leaves from the ostrich's side of the fence, and they've just been walking around. Their pattern is so beautiful. I don't know what it is about giraffes, but I have fallen so in love with them, and I'm so excited to just see what they're up to. And look at all the zebras. You can see zebras, and you can see ostriches in the background, and it's so fun to see that they have a nice big open area to roam around and share with the many, many, many Canadian geese. And now we have reached my sister's favorite part of the zoo, the oh, noble no. hippopotamus. I love them. <laughs> little ears, they're so cute. That's true, it does have very cute little ears, and today it's actually laying in the water too. We've made it to the sand cat exhibit and they are taking a kitty cat siesta and you can see they've installed a new hammock for the sand cats to be able to rest in so they seem like they're having an absolutely wonderful time. Evo, does it say where they're from again? They're Af from North Africa, Africa to Asia. Asia. We have a lot of sand cats in our Zoo Tycoon 2 episodes. They have tons of babies and they're so adorable. So we're gonna have to go back, we might have to go revisit them. And we need to go check that guy out. You guys, it's the black-footed cat. This is one of my all-time favorites, and they've added so much more of the enrichment items into its exhibit this time. And you can see that he's just taking a nice little nap in the back corner there. But they are really, really beautiful. Even though they look just like house cats, they're actually extremely aggressive. Very, 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 very aggressive. So you don't really want to work with them. You never, ever want to try to make them into a pet. But they just charm me because they are such a bundle of fierce wild cat in a size that's actually smaller than my brother's cat and they're just their markings are so beautiful oh, I'm so happy to see that he's got his own little siesta cat cat bin oh his little nose oh my gosh I love him so much this is a true wild cat that you're looking at right here though guys the zoo, I'm coming, I'm coming. The zoo is already closing in like 40 minutes and I've barely seen most of it and my sister's just like, this is amazing. Normally people rush through to see everything and I'm like struggling to move fast enough. Cause I just, oh, there's panic boxes. I just want to see everything and I'm so excited and zooming in on their eyes and noses and my sister's just giggling and there's a finick box in a hole here. Look at the little guy, he's sleeping in there too. Oh my goodness, you're so adorable, little Finnick Fox. Behold, the noble lions, doing what big cats usually do, or even small cats and medium cats usually do, sleeping all day. And these are all actually male lions who were neutered before their manes came in to help control populations inside of uh, zoo, zoo groups that they've got. But they are clearly having a very nice day. They've got a big, beautiful exhibit to roam. Lots of trees, oh, lots of grass. But they're just gonna snooze the day away because they don't really have to worry about anything. I always love seeing the big cats in zoos because you actually see usually very little of the big cats in zoos because they're napping somewhere. They find a comfortable spot, they lay down, they snooze the day away. And the lions here, <laughs> the grass is actually growing tall enough that you can just kind of see their ears twitch and that's where you know where the lions are. When did this bridge get built? Now we're oh. walking on a new bridge. My sister and I Super both looked recently. down like, wait a second, where are we? <laughs> We're in another apiary and the birds sound so beautiful and there's a little nest in the trees and there's so many different colors <gasps> and look at the tiny guy behind me. He's right next to me. He's right next to me. I love birds so much. 
<laughs> I really do. <laughs> Bro, you're like laughing so hard at me. You're like, what has gotten into my sister? Oh, I love Bird so much. Oh my goodness, guys. Look, he's right next to me. Oh my gosh. Is somebody busy pecking right where you were at? I didn't notice until I walked up and then I just see this head. They're so pretty. Aren't they just so, so beautiful? Yeah. And there's little, you can see the little weaver nests that they're weaving up there. And different birds over there. Oh, there's, oh you're right, they've gotten so many nests up at the top, probably because it's the tallest part in here. Oh, you photogenic, glorious, glorious creatures. You're so beautiful. She's trying to get him to move, and he won't budge, and he needs to get in the shade apparently, <laughs> but he won't move. I have no idea how you would move a turtle that big if he doesn't want to move. <laughs> oh, zoo time is done now. They kicked us out. I didn't get to see everything, because I love everything, and I spend too long at every single exhibit. And there's a Hello Kitty truck. It's been a day of adventures. <laughs> So my sister and I are headed out of this wind. I'm so sorry, I need to get a little wind muff for this camera still. And we are gonna be heading to go try out some delicious vegan Chinese temple food that they have at a really awesome place in town. But first we're going to stop to get her a coffee because I wore her out so good in the zoo. I have dragged her from one end to the other and I'm still raring to go for just as long. And my sister's like, help me, help me please. 